You can practice your release at home and use your chair, your backyard, sitting on the couch, everything. With a couple of easy props that you can get your local sporting goods store. I have a softball here and we have a Nerf football. There's several different types of releases, but let's just talk about the general one. And how can you practice your release at home, Brian? Yeah, if we're talking about rotating the fingers in a counterclockwise manner, uh, we're going to be just sort of tossing the football up in the air to ourselves and letting the fingers kind of rotate around the ball, where the ball doesn't necessarily move and we're letting our fingers do the rotating of the bowling ball. So for a right-hander, rotating counterclockwise, they have a tent and you're, you're doing this type of a motion. And with a softball, it'll be turning like so. The drawback to that, I mean, that's what they've been teaching for years and years, is what happens to this elbow when you're doing that? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit easier to what you would call chicken wing the shot or, you know, where you want to help it and just kind of get that thumb to roll over it. You know, it's more of the old school type release, a lot different than what we're seeing from today's modern day players. So the modern day players, what do they do? They go a different direction, don't they? Yeah, they actually go backwards, so to speak, where, you know, they're actually using their fingers as a gear to where the ball then starts to rotate down their fingers and actually comes up almost like the reverse way to where the fingers aren't actually rotating around the ball, the ball is rotating down the fingers. So they're actually going almost through the ball instead of going around the ball. So the hand gets on the side of the bowling ball is there, and as it starts to roll off, they will bring their fingers back and almost roll it and it actually makes your elbow roll in. It helps for a better arm swing. Yeah, in, in more of a clockwise manner. So demonstrate the two. Show me the two that you could do with the hand. Show me the one going counterclockwise and the counterclockwise. Yeah, so like I mentioned, the one where we're going to go counterclockwise, the fingers are actually going to do all the work to where we're actually rotating the fingers around the football itself. And then the other one where we let it roll down the fingertips and the hand stays more straight in line and more through the football, but we're still making that ball spiral nonetheless. So and same thing can be done with a softball. It's very subtle, but with a softball, you almost have to over-exaggerate your hand rolling around. And if you want to come through, you're just rolling on the inside.